what is going on guys and welcome to HTML tutorial uh, now that we have learned everything about HTML forms I'm actually going to show you a shortcut or a help that a brackets text editor would provide for you where we can actually download the extension and it's going to do all the forms for us so let's go to extension uh, brackets extension manager over here so I just click it over here and I go to the available over here I just click it and once I'm in here I just write quick form tools and over here I just click install so now that we have downloaded the extension you can see this little toggle menu over here on the top and if I just press it over here and you can see what are our options and I want to point to you the first thing that we would want to do is we would actually want to add actual form element over here and by mistake I had my cursor all the way on the top so I just need to cut this and paste it over here and now you can see that my form element is within my body and over here let's say let's start going down a list so this was my first one was I actually added the form so let's say that I want a file input and you can see right away how I have, I have a file over here now you can see that I don't have the label over here or a field set or a legend so those elements I would need to create myself and also obviously if I would want a line break in between them I would also need to do that so let's go ahead and do that and I'm just gonna create a line break over here I'm gonna place my cursor and let's say the next thing that I would want I would want a text field so now I can see that I have a text field over here and again I'm just gonna create a line break and let's just keep going down the list so the next thing I have a val uh, button and I would need to also add my value for the button because it comes in blank so let's say I'm just gonna call it a button so now you can see that I have a button over here and you basically get an idea that I all these forms that we actually learned in whatever the 10 videos or whatever you can actually add them very easily like this so let's say I would have a link right now so I'm just gonna press a link and you can see that I have a link that is not technically part of the form but it still makes your life easier where you can actually use this to add the links if you if you wanted to and here are the radio button I believe right so let me just create a line break over here and let's check it out the radio button and now we have a radio button I guess the name is here but I obviously I would still need to create a uh, some type of name for it so I would still need, need to do that myself but you basically get an idea of how we can work with this quick form tool and this would be the audio and this would be the video and over here is the embedded flash file now I want to also show you these three things that you have over here so basically what it is is this creates files for you so this one this one would be a new HTML file and you can see on left hand side how right away is going to appear you can see this untitled file over here and you can see what it's doing that basically it created for us a new HTML file you see that with the char set or with a character set over here and with the body where we're working and let's go back to our index where we're working before but if I would wanted to I could actually add a new CSS the cascading style sheets and new JavaScript so you can see how it, it could be very neat if you're working with a lot of forms it actually could save your time that you don't need to actually type everything out that you just create a form and you add whatever the attributes that you would need yourself uh, this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video